I'm starting to compare my relationship with my twin brother, Spencer, to climbing. There are two ways to climb. You can climb solo, or you can climb with two people and a lot of rope. Solo climb is called bouldering, and it's a lot of fun, but you can't go very high without risking a lot. When you climb with two people, you have a climber, and you have a belayer. The climber climbs, and the belayer stares up at the climber's ass and holds the rope in case they fall. <laughs> then you switch, and the belayer gets a chance to climb and try to do it a little bit better, to show off the other brother, is what I mean. And the thing about climbing with a rope is that you can climb really high without a lot of risk, because you have someone to support you. But that support comes at a cost, because it's also competitive, you have to mess with the rope, you have to like communicate, there's expensive gear you have to buy, you can only climb one at a time, and right now, it feels like I've been stuck belaying for a while. I can't even see Spencer. He's a long way up there. But I can still feel through this rope the old comparisons that I just can't escape, like I'm about a half inch taller than him, but he's stronger than me, and whenever we wrestle, he always wins. But that's okay, because I can beat him at basketball. He has a more sculpted upper body, but I can grow more hair than him. <laughs> but even though I'm the hairy one, he's the mountain man, and I'm the comic relief. I used to be able to beat him at the 400 meter in high school, but he was faster than me at anything longer than that, because I have asthma and he has bad knees. He can kayak and go backcountry snowboarding, but I, I'm pretty sure I can type a little bit faster than him. <laughs> I have a more self-limiting attitude, but he has to deal with more injuries and damage. He's doing physics at Whitman in Walla Walla, Washington, and I'm doing education or some shit. <laughs> So, uh, he's going to make a lot more money than me, but I'm never going to let him forget that I was potty trained first. <laughs> and my middle name is way cooler, McAllister. <laughs> we're coast to coast away, but we're still connected. And I'm wondering if he's standing just a little bit straighter than me. And where he's going with his feet that are just a little bit bigger than mine, and his sharper jaw line is in my ear, asking me what I'm doing with my time. Why are you on this stage? When was the last time you actually did something? Where are your real friends? Is that all you are doing? Yes. Spencer, this is all I am doing. And I'd love to go climbing just not with you. I'm tired of staring at your ass. I'm tired of being your belay because you keep going too high. I don't want to play. And that's why I'm going to stay 2,899 miles away and go bouldering. Here, I am three monkeys at once, mouth, ears, and eyes closed to avoid this competition or to convince myself I'm winning. But all I am is stunted because I forget that I'm still roped in. I can't boulder. I can't just not play. I can't forget you. But mom said ignoring you would work. And maybe it would if it were just you and me, but it never has been. It's you, me, and it. We're a country away, but still on the same shit. Never text. God forbid we ever talk, but I find ways to compare Facebook stock because we're breathing the air and we're still on the same rock. The rock is the distance between you and me. It's the dream, the A-team, the patriarchy, hyper-masculinity, protein shakes and aggression, black eyes and fat lips but no feeling. The rock is when we had to switch schools because you had a pink backpack, the top is success, the best dressed, great sex and power, with gold stars, trophies and breadcrumbs the whole way up and my feelings are mixed like metaphors because the rock is great poison, we just didn't get to pick it. 
Maybe, Spencer, I'm trying to climb a different rock. Jeez, I want to believe that I don't need to be recognized to be truthful. I want to rock with a top that's possible to reach and also worth reaching, but I can't just leave. I'm still roped in. Let me cut myself free. Pass me a knife. Oh. Actually, a chisel. I'll carve out my own truth for chisel, my own goals. But wait, shit. That would only give you handholds for you to climb even higher above me. Damn it. I can't decide what's weaker, letting you pull me into competing or having skinny thighs, copying your route or failing at my own, telling you you're winning or proving it by pulling. I want to take the mask out of masculinity and also learn to spell, but I can't move unless you come down here and help. You can't get to the top, and I hope you don't, and I can't find another rock without running out of rope.